Okay, so after you finished your Google SketchUp um, model of the picture frame, um, what I want you to work on this week is something that's uh, fairly important to the construction trades. Um, it's not something that uh, we would normally be able to do in the classroom, but it, it's actually a really good opportunity for you guys to do um, at home um, online. So um, when you work in the construction trades, whether you're a plumber, electrician, a framer, you know, mason, drywaller, you know, you name it, um, you're going to need to at some point or another use a ladder. Um, so I came across this um, while researching topics that we could cover for the online version of our course. Um, I know it's very, you know, unfortunate guys that we can't be in the shop. I wish I was there too and I hope everybody is uh, keeping safe at home and at least uh, making the best of it. Um, but um, very important to uh, when I came across this I thought well, you know what this is a good opportunity to have these guys do this so and it's great for your resume. So ladder training is something that many employers require now um, as part of the uh, occupational self uh, safety um, and health of their employees um, <clears throat> and if you have a safety certification um, it's just one more thing on your resume that's going to look uh, good for you um, with respect to ladders so um, today what we're going to look at is um, the instructions. We're going to go over the instructions. I know it's not an ideal situation to be listening to me do a video, but I figured everybody has a phone. Everybody pretty much has a phone. Everybody pretty much has data uh, or access to Wi-Fi. So um, I try and keep these brief and you can always watch them in 480. There's nothing uh, says you have to watch this in HD. There's nothing fancy going on here. Um, but anyway, um, in order to get light ladder and training certificate, um, you're going to follow the the uh, instructions uh, down here. So I've got a link. I'll I'll click that and I'll I'll walk you through the process. But anyway, you're going to go to this website. Um, it's the American Ladder Safety Institute safety training website. Um, I couldn't find an equivalent for Canada that was free, so um, take it with a grain of salt, I guess. But this is going to be good enough for what you're going to be doing here in Canada for your resume. Um, now one thing, a little caveat here guys, is that you will have to register. Okay, unfortunately the fr it's free, but um, you do have to register. So um, you're going to register with your name and email address. It's important you use your real name for this because they will give you a certificate at the end, which you can then save as a and print as a PDF file. Um, and it's important to keep those on file for your portfolio and your resume so that you've got those handy to show to your employers. But anyway, um, you're also going to be handing me in those certificates with your name on it um, as the assignment kind of criteria. Um, there are four modules, one for standard sta uh, step ladders. These are ladders that are short, uh, typical to what you might find in your home. Um, single and extension ladder safety. So these are longer ladders. Um, uh, they basically extend, uh, they can be uh, fixed or extending. Um, articulating ladders, these are the ones that bend or fold. Um, and then mobile ladder safety. So there's four modules. Um, I want you to select uh, one to begin. It doesn't matter which one you start with. I mean, you can go through them in order. It doesn't really matter. In the end, you'll have all four completed. Um, the videos are about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, I think, uh, tops. So, you know, to, to do the videos and the tests for this week should only take you a couple of hours. Um, uh, once you're finished watching the video, you're going to uh, take the test and then save and print the the certificate so that you can upload it to the um, uh, Google Classroom um, as part of the assignment. Um, oh, one other thing that it does do, which I thought was kind of interesting, um, it compares your uh, knowledge of ladders right now to the knowledge at the end. So you'll do a quick little multiple choice pretest before each of these. Um, 
I'm not saying you don't have to take the pretest as seriously as the final test. Um, try and do your best on the pretests uh, because it'll give you a good indication of how much you know right now and then how much you'll know at the end. Okay? They're not difficult. The tests are not uh, hard to do. Um, and you can take them as many times as you want as far as I understand. So it's not really an issue with that. In the end, I just want to make sure that you guys have watched the videos and you've uploaded the certificate and now you've got something great for your resume. Okay, um, so we'll go to the website so you can take a look. So you click the link and here we are in the website. Um, I've already created an account, but when you first log in, it'll ask you for your email address, your um, address, your um, a password for the account, and then you'll log in. And if you go to the, the main page there, you'll see um, that uh, here have I logged out no I haven't okay so you're gonna go you're gonna register you're gonna select a ladder type there are four choices so um, he, this is one so you can see I did the pretest here and you can watch the video and then the mobile ladder safety you can take the pretest and then watch the video pretest watch the video and so on so there's step ladder single extension ladder articulated ladder and mobile ladder and uh, see so you can see they're 15 minutes this one's a little longer at 25 19 and 13 so a couple of hours of your time um, and you can watch the videos and then answer the test questions at the end upload them and away you go and that's what we're doing for this week for people who have not quite finished the sketchup please try to get that done as well um, um, like I said uh, during the video here, this is not ideal. This whole situation that we're in is not ideal, guys. But uh, as I've said in some of the posts that we've uh, had in Google Classroom, um, this has been mandated down from the Ministry of Education, and this is how you're going to satisfy the requirements for your credit earning for this. I'm sure you're doing other work in other courses as well, but um, in order to give you guys the credit for this uh, course, obviously we can't be, do to be doing woodworking at home. I have to come up with alternatives, and um, I'm trying to come up with as practical and as meaningful uh, exercises and assignments for you guys that I possibly can okay so try to log in a couple times a week at least if you see a, a notification pop up um, on your phone I recommend you install the app and then you'll see the notifications I'll try not to update or do too many things during the week so you're not being you know uh, badgered by uh, notifications all the time but um, it's a couple of hours a week. It's way less than we would be doing if we were in class together. So just think of it like that, guys, okay? Um, anyways, uh, wanted to say also, I miss you guys. I miss teaching. I miss being in the classroom. But uh, hopefully this all ends soon, okay? Thank you.